very good morning. Victoria Sabia here and uh, absolute pleasure to be here on the breakfast meeting and we're going to be talking brands, something that really excites me of course and excites NBS because we are a recipient of a particular award and we'll tell you a little more about that as we continue this conversation because today joining me is uh, Mr. Joseph Kanyamunyu, the CEO of Public Africa Communications Limited, the Uganda partner and host of the Brand Africa 100 Awards. Did I say that we are a recipient of that? I think I did. These <laughs> awards are more than just accolades. They reflect the evolving landscape of branding across our continent, really, and the vital role it plays in shaping our economic future, in my opinion. But today, we'll explore the significance of uh, these awards the standout brands in Uganda and what it all means for our collective identity as Africans. Now, Joseph, it's great to have you here. It's all mine. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, we're talking brands, one of my favorite topics. I mean, I have a little bit of a background in branding and uh, we get to talk Ugandan brands and uh, uh, the awards all together. Let's start it off. Can you perhaps just explain uh, from the beginning what the brand Africa 100 awards are and why they matter so much. Okay. First of all, congratulations to NBS for having <laughs> one, uh, <laughs> one of the brands. Yeah. Thank you. So um, Brand Africa, first of all, is about celebration of African voices mm -hmm. and brand excellence. Mm -hmm. Gone are the days when uh, brands uh, or rather communications was one way. But now people talk back. You, you, you speak and then they speak back. It's a conversation between the brands and the consumer. Mm. So it's about uh, African voices and they have spoken. Mm. So Brand Africa 100 started uh, in 2010 in South Africa uh, under the founder called Tebe Ikalafeng, uh, a big brand uh, architect uh, who is in South Africa. And uh, it, they are, they, we celebrate 100 most loved brands across mm. Africa every year. And uh, in partnership with Kanta and Jopo, who are very reputable organizations in research, mm -hmm. uh, from January to March every year, they go into the African countries and they do research and speak to consumers of whom give us uh, uh, their, their, their decisions or their, uh, you know, word about the lab, the, their most loved brands. Mm -hmm. And this information is again taken back and we, select the best or the most loved brands across Africa. Okay, so yeah. of course if we're talking branding, um, mm -hmm. a lot of people might not really know what we're talking about. We're not just talking about the logo. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're not giving awards for the best logos, is it? Not at all. Please not just all. share a little bit and talk about so, what do we mean really? Is it the perception of people? Why do the people actually matter and what they think of the brands? Excellent. I think, it, I think uh, first of all, the brands, uh, these best brands have actually earned the admiration and, uh, uh, you know, um, chosen the right brands who support them in terms yes. of how they engage them. Mm -hmm. In today's era, uh, uh, brands are not only about logos. Yeah. It takes a long process to create a brand. Mm -hmm. Brands are like human beings. Yeah. They have names. Yeah. They have faces. They have life. They have life. Uh, and that's why they have a reputation uh, to, to, to take care of, to protect. Yeah? Because if there's a crisis come, it means that they are trying to protect a brand. So mm. that, that means it hurts. It's yes. like a human being. Yeah. It does. It does. So we take it to, personally. Absolutely. So <laughs> to, to, to have a brand, to be able to engage with your consumers, you must be able to impact their lives. You're supposed to create uh, research and create quality products and services, uh, you know, give back to touch the economies through CSR. So mm. a brand is actually, um, you know, uh, a, a great entity that must be assumed by all people who are doing business. Yes. Yes. yes to yes, be able absolutely. to interact better. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you think in Uganda in particular, uh, mm. uh, people have come to understand the, the need to actually work on a brand? Uh, outside of it just being, you know, the corporate identity, yes. uh, like we're saying, the logos and the image of it. Yes. Uh, do you think there's an understanding in the context of Uganda of what brands are, what they should be, yeah. and how they should actually grow? Yes. So I think that's a very good question because um, uh, in my time, uh, 20 years experience, 
you know, doing comms for many brands, supporting them in terms of uh, engagement with their stakeholders. Mm -hmm. Not many of them understand actually uh, what it is yeah. to be a brand. So it's, it's a process, people are learning, and that's why we celebrate those best of the best, mm -hmm. because uh, they come out to give um, best practice, mm -hmm. so other brands have to learn from them. I'll tell you, when we started uh, uh, in 2017, Brand Africa, especially in Uganda, we found out that uh, at that time there were not many local brands who were actually being awarded. So you'd find only international brands in the room, you know, because these people have been tried and tested. Yeah. But the local brands started coming, and that's why we have now the Centenary Banks, the Mokwanos, the NBS. The NBS <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes, and that means yeah, it's a long process, but yes, we're heading somewhere. The, the future is bright. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, let's <coughs> talk about uh, top Ugandan brands, if we mm -hmm. can. Uh, you yes. mentioned Mokwano, of course, NBS, and mm -hmm. the many others. <coughs> uh, uh, mm -hmm. What is it that they do differently? What is it that actually makes that distinction mm -hmm. uh, uh, for these particular brands to be recognized yes. by Brand Africa? Yeah, and I think that's what we uh, mentioned. So these brands take a long, I mean, they go a long way to, uh, first of all, um, uh, research, mm. uh, understand what their audience, their target audience require in terms of products and services. They, ex they spend money uh, in doing research and they also improve or make better their products and services. Now, in doing that, you're actually creating uh, a good product that will interact better with your audience. Mm -hmm. So people buy more. Yes. Yeah, people pay yes. more, but over and above, they also go a long way to create jobs. They grow the economy. Yeah, jobs. Are, uh, they, they 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 give jobs to Ghanaians. I think you've heard of uh, local content in the mm. oil and gas sector. Yes. Uh, this is because they want jobs to to to, to be given to the Ghanaians, mm. to local people. But above all, in their CSR, they go a long way to touch the lives of Ugandans. They mm. give back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not just about taking taking. No, they they involve in. Um, in giving back to the society, yes. which, which goes a long way to, to, to create a, uh, the best brands. Yeah. Mm. Do you think that uh, looking at how many brands, companies uh, have come up with several initiatives, uh, plant, from planting trees to, of yeah. course, effecting some social change out there, yeah. uh, is, do you think it's an easy way out to have a squeaky clean brand? No, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good one. Good. It is not. Uh, and. Uh, Many of them actually, uh, we can't say that many brands actually want to uh, invest in philanthropy. Mm. But I mean, in, the, in their CSR program, it's not about give, give, give. But somehow, of course, they want a little bit of PR. They, they yes, want, of course. <laughs> yeah. I, I they, mean, we could talk about uh, uh, several companies. Uh, when yes. it comes to climate change and we talk about planting trees, and then you have other brands that uh, are unfortunately m mitigating a lot of uh, uh, emissions in this case. Uh, do you think that it helps? I'm no. not saying it's a bad thing, yeah. but I'm saying that at least <laughs> they're doing something about it. Yes. No, I think those who are actually pushing for climate change, who are actually doing something, is a great... Uh, it's noble. It's, re it's recommended. Many other brands should actually look into that direction. Everyone is doing it globally. Yes. Many of the brands in Uganda, uh, both uh, the international and local, should also emulate that. Yes, we have so many brands who are doing nothing, who are actually out there in the market. Mm. You know, some brands wake up to make a difference, some others just wake up to escort the others. Yes. Uh, there are others who wake up to spoil. For example, we have counterfeits. Uh, mm. There's a lot of uh, issue about counterfeits, and this goes a long way to, uh, to disrupt what the brands are doing in the market. But mm. uh, uh, all that doesn't mean that uh, all is lost. I think brands are, uh, are emulating uh, the globally uh, uh, best practice in terms yeah. of engaging the, econo the community, uh, giving back uh, in terms of um, climate change mm. and many other uh, yeah, uh, opportunities. When, when we look at some international brands mm. and uh, our local brands here, yeah. uh, or brands in the continent, in Africa in particular, um, I think that we, many brands are striving to be authentic to the African story. Um, do you think that we're able to achieve this as an African continent, considering that we're learning so much from these international brands in how they brand themselves, how they tell their stories? Um, as African brands, do you yeah. think that we're doing that well? Are we telling our stories well enough, uh, mm. or do we have more work to do? No, we have a lot of work to do. I mean, uh, we, we saw that actually 14% Africans believe in African brands, yes. uh, with the other, you know, 80-something. So, mm. 86 there is need for Africans to believe in African brands first and be able to support them. Mm -hmm. And once we do that, then we're going to see African brands grow. Now, particularly in Uganda, we've had Bubu, 
by yes, Uganda, by Uganda, yeah. Uganda. Build Uganda. Mm -hmm. uh, how far has that gone? How has it been energized? How many brands in, uh, in Uganda are supporting uh, Bubu? Mm. Uh, we have so many local brands, but look at how many brands come out to be uh, the best of best in terms yes. of uh, Brand Africa 100. So there, there, there's a lot of effort from all sectors. Uh, we're talking about government, private sector, NGOs who have to come together and say, look, let's support the local brands. Once they're not supported, then we shall uh, keep at such low numbers mm. in terms of believing in African brands. Mm. Yeah. Uh, wh wh what strategies do you think that Africans uh, can apply? I mean, mm. uh, you spoke about this big percentage of people that really don't necessarily resonate as much yeah. as they should with yeah. African brands. What yeah. strategies do you think that African brands can uh, apply mm. to their own brands in, uh, to ensure that you know, they attract the local eye and ear and attention yes. uh, in a sense? Are there some specific things that we can start doing already that we have not looked at? Absolutely. And, 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 and you see, and because I have been uh, uh, in the communication industry for a long time, you see, what we do for brands who uh, really care about their consumer is that they do research and understand who is your target audience. Yes. And once you know who your target audience is, then you understand how your product actually interacts with them. Mm. So you create a lot of research and improve on your uh, product and also engage in a lot of activities that support the market. Mm. Yeah. Uh, however, in Uganda, there is a tendency for brands to just you know, take, uh, they, they, they are not competitive. They, mm. they want to just be able to, you know, go by with the others. Yes. Yeah, have mm. uh, an opportunity to just uh, escort. But mm. I think it's important to, to interact better with um, your consumer, understand their needs, mm. and also engage them better where they are mm. in, a term, in terms of segmenting. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, we can talk about some uh, global <coughs> brands yes. that are famous and well-known here in Uganda and loved mm. almost, shall yeah. I say, uh, yes. that are well-recognized. Mm. Uh, uh, I'm just curious, what would it take for African brands to get to that space? Yes. You know how mm. uh, every toothpaste is Colgate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yes, at one time, uh, yeah, you one know, name. Every, uh, every, every soda is, is Coke. Is Coke, yeah. <laughs> and, and that's why I think Pepsi has a lot of work to do because yes. if uh, you go into a room and ask for Coke, yet you want uh, a, Pepsi, a Pepsi, then there's a problem in terms of brand engagement. So I think it's important that um, uh, campaigns, uh, for example, the brands who are, who are actually out there in the market, mm -hmm are well done in terms of, um, because markets are different. You, you, the demographics change. Mm. Uh, today we have the Gen Z's uh, who are a huge uh, percentage of the population. And of course the way things are done nowadays are different. How you engage each mm. stakeholder matters. So it is important that, um, uh, uh, I'll give you an example like Movit. Movit is a local brand. Yes. But I'm told, uh, and this is a <laughs> an advert for them maybe. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yes. They, they are out there in about seven sub-Saharan African countries or even more. How did they get there? What are they doing uh, uh, better than the others? Yeah, and, 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 and therefore it means that there's a lot to learn from such brands. There's a lot to interact. We, we have Brand Africa. Every year we come around to discuss uh, the, the data that has been achieved by Kanta and Jopo, mm. which goes a long way to tell them how to execute. Look at NBS, where did you come from? Mm. Mm. But what are your plans? You can see recently, actually, uh, when we're looking at the brands that are doing good for society, uh, NBS did not come out number one, but it is come, it's number two somewhere, I think, yes. if you saw that. Yes. Yeah, so apart from being the most loved media brand in Uganda, they're also uh, doing some good stuff. In we're terms definitely of, doing some good. Yes, in yes. terms of uh, uh, CSR. Yes. So there are certain areas that uh, brands must uh, go a long way to, uh, you know, activate in, in terms of engaging with the consumer mm, mm. And, uh, uh, and then because when you see uh, I'll give an example of telecoms um, when they're actually doing their product uh, awareness the names they give to their products eh? Bacalast, yes, Capiata, yes, yes. what it's are they trying catchy. to do? Yes. yes, they're trying to talk to that, stick that, that target group mm. that uh, is going to consume their product. They want yes. to engage better, they mm. want to be understood so communication is key 
Uh, what are the taglines? What are how, how do you con which channels do you use to communicate? Mm. 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 How is your product going to change their lives? Mm. You know, mm. all these uh, attributes go a long way to build a brand. So you find that the local brands, yes, many of the uh, the brands, the local brands in in, U in Uganda are family oriented brands. Yes, uh, and you find a family maybe doesn't want to go a long way to become globally competitive. Yes. Yeah, they yes. just want to keep it a home thing, home thing. a place mm. safe in the market, and then after that, become a winner. Mm. No, it, you have to be competitive. Look at the global brands. How can we compete with them? Yes. Yeah, their goals have to be go over and above the local market. Do you market. think it's because they don't want to spend money on building their brands? Because it, uh, you would think that it's as easy as, oh, we have an image there. We just do what we do. Exactly. This is it. Yeah. Uh, I don't think people understand that to build a strong brand, to yeah. some extent, you need mm. to invest. You need in to invest. It. It's yes. a, there's no two ways about it. You must yeah. invest. And I think maybe that's one key that they haven't understood. That, well, they must be able to get there and invest. Invest in research. Yes. Get yes. to understand yes. how your product is doing. How are, the, how are your uh, target group, your clients, your stakeholders mm. saying about your product yeah. and services. And how do What's they consume your product? Absolutely. In what ways? You exactly. Know? Yeah. What, is, what, 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 what is the feedback that is coming out there? Now, this feedback goes a long way in getting your brand better, mm. getting your product and services evolved, mm. getting a good product out there, how to engage with your consumer, who are they? they I mean, this, the marketing department uh, have, has to be uh, busy you know, engaging in some of these um, uh, opportunities to make sure that they have the best product there. Yeah, and then, absolutely. yes, then they'll see their product. So then they'll go, they'll make money. That money they're trying to save yes, <laughs> yes. now becomes even, a, yeah. a, I mean, it expands. And, 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 and your product now becomes globally competitive. I think, I think we know of many uh, yeah. uh, uh, companies or even brands that have spent more money on marketing and branding than anything else. Absolutely. I mean, if you go to organizations, uh, these multinational organizations, you find that their research team is huge. It's not just a one, uh, mm. one, one, one man show mm. or woman show in, in an organization. They have a big research team. Look at the Googles, the, the Apple, the... Uh, yes. Oh, these people spend a lot of money in research. Yeah, yeah they get I, I mean, if we start talking <coughs> about Apple, the question would be, why is it? They hardly really advertise, if you think about it. Exactly. But they put in a lot of money in research. Mm -hmm. And guess what? That information comes a long way to just deliver the best product. What yeah. is the goal then for African brands? Is it mm -hmm. to build that... Uh, type of relationships that people really own the brand now yeah. and mm. they no longer just see it as just one of those brands? Absolutely. I think it's, it's, uh, it, it's entirely about the consumer because, uh, the consu for example, if Brand Africa is actually about celebrating consumer voices. Yes. The Ugandans spoke. Yeah. Okay, the Africans spoke, but you know, Brand Africa or rather Kanta and Jopo mm. have an in-country person who does the research. Mm -hmm. So these are the voices of Ugandans. They're telling you, look, we trust uh, NBS, we trust yeah. uh, Centenary Bank, we yeah. trust Mukwano, mm. yes, we admire, yes, so it's about admiration and trust, mm -hmm. yes. I mean, you spoke about uh, financial institutions like Centenary, for instance, uh, uh, I think uh, what builds the, the best part of those brands is that they've built trust. How important is building trust with uh, the audience, the consumer, is yes. it uh, for different brands, and yeah. how, how can uh, Ugandan brands mm. uh, build better trust with its people. Because uh, mm. I think in many times uh, what happens in Africa is uh, you have this brand, seems beautiful, seems yes. amazing, yeah. but uh, yeah. we don't trust the quality yes. or we don't trust where it comes from or uh -huh. we don't trust certain things. Absolutely. How do these brands really genuinely build trust yes. to such a point where uh, we're able to take on these brands as our own? Absolutely. Very, very good question. And it will take us back to what we were saying about building brands. So what's your brand promise? What is NBS's brand promise? What is Centenary brand? And do you live up to it? And you live up to it. So yeah. for example, if you have a promise and then the consumer gets the opposite of what you, what you promised, yes. then what do you get? Mm. People still now begin to, 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 to shy from the brand. They want to look for one which they can trust. Mm. They want to look for one which uh, they admire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you find that uh, brands that go a long way in building their brands. You see, when you see a car from NBS, it's all you know, decorated yes. NBS mm -hmm. and say, wow, these guys really love their brand. So mm -hmm. if, the, the, if their team can trust their brand, then yeah. I should trust it. Yes. I, I, banks, you were talking about financial institutions. It's about credibility. It's about mm -hmm. accessibility. Yeah, if, if you're not credible, then how can I trust you with my money? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this, the brand promise is also key. Uh, uh, and, and I think it's important that 
brands go out there and make sure that their promise is actually what is kept. Mm. Uh, and that's why I think many organizations, multinational, uh, have a, a very big uh, customer service uh, mm. center. Centricity is key. They need to, to guard yeah. the reputation. What you promise, what are the problems that, are, that the clients or your customers are having? Can we solve them? Can we stop uh, the, the bleeding? Yeah. What, what is happening? So, yeah, yeah the, it's, it's about the consumer. If, You're mm. correct. Mm. Uh, you bring up a very important point mm. in that, uh, do you think that uh, African brands mm. consider customer experience as part of building their brand? It is. It is. It is. Please talk into it. Yeah, so customer experience, I mean, uh, so look, the, the, for example, the big brands have a lot of um, uh, footfall, if I may say, in terms of uh, uh, trying to get their service right. And that's mm -hmm. why you see many organizations food, uh, have uh, big service centers uh, to make sure that they can engage their consumers best. Uh, and uh, uh, customer centricity uh, is your number one PR mm -hmm. because they are front uh, serving uh, uh, staff, they are meeting your consumer. Uh, Walk-ins come and meet the customer service people. Mm. So how you deal with them also, that is key, uh, because uh, your interaction with them gives them the, the idea whether they should trust you, yeah. or whether they should admire you, or whether they should flash you. <laughs> it leaves an indelible mark. Absolutely. Perception. So yeah, if you come and you handle me wrongly, mm. uh, one, two, three times, I'm going to change and today there's competition so you can't say that uh, in the past there was only one uh, you know service yeah. provider and you'd, st you'd stick there even if it wasn't uh, the best that you need yes. but today people are offering a lot of uh, the same services so mm. the consumer has the right to choose so he's good if you if you don't handle them well trust me they'll go to the next brand yes. and then ha here we have uh, the best brand, the best of the best. No, so you absolutely. wonder why people are with these best of the best yeah. and, and not with you. So these are um, areas that many of these uh, entities must look into. Must look at. Mm. Now, mm. Uh, looking at uh, the, the brands that uh, Brand Africa has awarded and have looked at, mm. you spoke so much about uh, social responsibility. Mm. How important is social responsibility in order to be recognized in these awards? Is it a, a, a thing or uh, do other brands who don't necessarily focus on social responsibility or mm. initiatives along those lines, yeah. uh, can they also be recognized as also uh, uh, doing good in a sense? Absolutely. I think uh, CSR uh, uh, is increasingly being respected and uh, many uh, consumers are, uh, are looking into that direction in terms of um, uh, if I have to admire you, if I have to trust in you, what are you giving back to the society? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, not the other Mfunirawa, uh, but I mean, many organizations go a long way to give back to, to society. And when you go and look at the brands that are actually winning in that area, Centenary Bank, MTA, UNICEF, uh, these brands were recognized for their efforts, mm. uh, the amount of time they put in in terms of giving back to the society. And, 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 and consumers uh, respect that. Mm -hmm. And they will actually uh, admire you. They will choose you for being their most loved brands. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. CSR is key. Mm -hmm. uh, it's no longer about showbiz uh, because consistency, consistency matters. Mm -hmm. How you do it every year, they'll say, hmm, actually they mean it. They, are, they, they care about their consumer. They are giving back to society. They are giving back to the country. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell you that uh, these awards were made by some brands where uh, the international brands are saying, why are you calling us non-Ugandan? Mm. I, I can understand where they're coming from, but again, they are not Ugandan, yeah. but they are giving. They are, Into, they are doing a lot yes. for the country, and we must yeah. respect that. Uh, but look, look uh, Brand Africa is about celebrating both local and international brands. So mm. we understand who is local, we understand who is international, but what they're doing for the, uh, for the country, for the consumer is a good thing, mm. and, and that's why they win. Uh, do you think that mm. uh, by the time they win the award or mm. uh, those who have had the privilege of being recognized by Brand Africa as yeah. uh, the best brand in, 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 in the categories, mm. um, uh, does it help in terms of uh, consumer perception or, or even, let's say, those who already love NBS, for yes. instance, yeah. and uh, they hear that we've received this award? You yeah. Know? Yeah. Uh, um, do you think it helps in the perception? of people towards our brand? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. There is no doubt. You are winning. And by the way, this takes you to another level. You, you, I don't know, you, you need to go and check your numbers again and see after yes. this announcement. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But it, it matters a lot. Uh, consumers, like I said in the beginning, uh, that time when it was a one-way kind of communication has gone. Mm -hmm. uh, consumers are talking back, and they even talk back by consuming your brand, not only yes. saying that you're good, 
<laughs> but they'll go ahead and, yeah. and interact with your brand and give you exactly what you require. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what are some trends that you're noticing in terms of consumer preferences yeah. uh, looking at African brands? Mm. Uh, uh, because I think uh, over time, so many consumers, so many things are changing. Yes. Uh, the introduction of AI, tech, and everything. Uh -huh. mm. So much is happening. We're evolving as people. Absolutely. Uh, mm. What do you think are those preferences that you're seeing uh, 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 for African brands and consumers? Yeah. What are mm. they looking for? Uh, what is it that they attach themselves to yeah. and which brands are doing well at that? Absolutely. I'll say, yeah, that's a good question. I'll say digital transformation is key. Yes. Uh, you find that actually people who are engaging better with their consumer are actually online today. Uh, things are easier. Uh, you s I don't have to walk mm -hmm. uh, to go and consume a product or buy uh, goods and services. I can quickly engage an app and, and, and get a service or a product delivered at my, mm. at my comfort. Uh, and uh, it's, it's key now that uh, um, the conversations are going online. Mm. So the, the many of the brands that need to win have to be online. There has to be some kind of digital transformation mm. to be able to, to engage better. Uh, with their consumers. No, absolutely. Mm. I, I, th I mean, these days it's, it's quite hectic with, with mm. the rise of, of course, social media and so many more people uh, over there. Uh, yeah. You find that there are um, uh, creators or, yeah. or, or content creators who can literally bring down a brand by one video. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. There's a guy, I think his name is Keith something. He yeah. reviews food for yeah. restaurants. If he likes the food, uh, that restaurants does well. It's finished. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if he does yes. yeah. If yeah. he does not like his opinion the food, is big. His opinion is that big. Yeah. Uh, mm. I mean, I feel like the brands mm. uh, are, are literally at the hands uh, of, of their consumer. <laughs> of the consumer. Of the consumer. Yeah, and that's very key. And you talked about the content uh, economy, where people are creating a lot of. It. Uh, uh, content uh, and they're talking about brands, the conversations about services, the, uh, health, you know. So you find that, uh, um, uh, for example, in Uganda now it's going to be uh, delicate because uh, content creators are not regulated yet. Yes. That's an issue. Everyone is talking. Everyone mm -hmm. is online. Mm -hmm. uh, they're making videos. They are, uh, I, I know, I know uh, a client who is actually uh, working with... Um, I mean, trying to target the youth, yeah, in that area because yeah. that's a place that has to be uh, nurtured. It has to. It has to, and they want to work with the uh, UCC, uh, uh, which means that there has to be regulation, mm. but also a lot of content comes out of there. So the content economy mm. is, is big. Uh, 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 the other time, Biden uh, invited a hundred of them and said, "Look." He made a joke and said, I'm looking for a job. <laughs> <laughs> I, yes, yes, because I mean, he's, he, he's, he's retiring. Yes, but yes. he says, look, I'm looking for a job because uh, he's giving a lot of credit to the fact that the, these content creators are the ones who are going to be uh, uh, the main people to go to yes, in terms yes. of talking about your brand, yes. in terms of making things right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now let's look at the future, if we might. Uh, what do you see for the future for Ugandan brands, African brands all together yeah. um, in the la in the global landscape or the global marketplace, for that yeah. matter? I think the future is bright. Uh, I think uh, there are many platforms that are aiding uh, uh, both uh, the consumer and. Uh, and the brands uh, or the entities to communicate. Uh, for the local brands, uh, the, 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 the sky is the limit. We, we can only be comp we can not only be competitive in the local market, mm. but we can also compete uh, beyond uh, yes. the local market. So, uh, it, like we said, uh, they have to invest and mm -hmm. see how they can expand mm -hmm. uh, and also compete globally. Mm -hmm. uh, many of these other brands are creating uh, b best practice and mm -hmm. people are learning from them. So the conversations are good. And thanks to NBS where we can be here to, and talk about uh, these same issues which can be solved by many of the brands out there. Yes, mm. absolutely. Now, mm. I, I need some final thoughts from you. Mm. Uh, and, uh, of course, I must say thank you to Brand Africa for recognizing us uh, yeah. and uh, just uh, making sure that uh, we are seen up there. Any yes. final thoughts from you, Mr. Joseph? Yes, so importantly, uh, I would just want to thank you um, for the opportunity. And uh, uh, to the brands out there, uh, the future is bright. Uh, we are able to... Um, choose the best brands yes. uh, through the work they are doing. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of work that is going on with the brands. Uh, we think that we can see more local brands grow. 
Uh, there should be a lot of best, best practice uh, mm -hmm. from the ones that are here and those that are growing. It's important to, 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 to engage. Let's engage the consumer. Let's give back to the society. Uh, because if you don't, then you're not recognized. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. That's well, it, yeah. thank you so much for joining me today on this breakfast meeting. It's an honor. And, and thank you so pleasure. much for having me. Absolutely. Yeah. And thank you, of course, for tuning in here on the breakfast meeting. For me, Victoria Sabia, we'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs>